Hello everybody, welcome back to Far Cry 3. Right, we're going to proceed on to our mission. Or at least... Ah! Ah! Duh. It's never a good time to uh, stop being caught on fire. Ah, oh, the sun's coming up. That will help us out. No end. Um, I'm aware that I haven't been back to a town for ages, and therefore, I probably have got quite a lot of crap carried around with me. Uh, stuff to sell, things I can pick up. So... That's going to be our first order. Uh, where's this little chest? Here it is. Um, yeah, we got... St it's the Rakyat. What's up, guys? Hey, look, this is my defeated god statue. How oh, cool. We had a little fight three. Um, okay, lest be going. Hi, guys. We have infinite sprint now as well, of course. What's up? Um, I have a feeling that... Oh, oh. Ah, Dennis. A little drink. Hello. Oh, I've got things to do. You're jealous, my friend. We are not unlike each other, you and I. I was once an immigrant to the United States. Mm -hmm. I worked as a mechanic in a garage. <laughs> he tried to make fun of my accent, the owner. He tried to pay me less than the other mechanics. What a dick. They were not as skilled. Mm. I who was raised among the, the generals of Liberia. They tried to treat me less than them. But I know who I am. <laughs> Look at me now. She has freed me. She is with me. <laughs> Good luck on your fortune. I mean, your mission. Yes. This battle is empty. I need another one, please. Quickly. Hmm. Well, I get the... I get the curious impression that um, Dennis is not happy about our relationship with Citra and gotta wonder whether he may become a problem for us at some point. It's as if he's kind of had his, you know, he feels like Citra sort of belongs to him like he had intentions with her and we've kind of crashed the pie. Which, if true, is kind of a shame and, you know, feel a little bad for, for old Dennis, but uh, you can't have it all, can you? What's going on down here? Oh dear. Bad luck, pirates. However, looks like there's plenty of little treasure right here. And plenty of boats. I think we'll take the patrol boats. Now I'm going to head back to town first, which is going to mean we have to go on a little drive. Uh, I'm just going to angle my gun, because you guys remember we had the problems before. I'm just going to angle my gun like so. Right, off we go. 
Do, do, do. This is going to be a chatty episode, you might be able to tell from uh, the fact that I'm going to be driving the boat. Right. Now, first up, where are we going? Well, I'm going to be going to Northview Gas, I guess. It's the nearest town nearby. Actually, there is a uh, hubris farm nearby, but... Oh yeah, I wanted to clear Rock Point Tower at some point, didn't I? That was, I remember I said that on a previous episode. Anyway, I'm just going to go across the bay right here, so let's do that. Well, it's cool that Vass is out of the way. Vass, but, um... Uh, a little bit of a shame at the same time. Who's quite an interesting, cool character. I never noticed how that cord to our right just there, like, see how it's swinging. Never noticed that before. Whereabouts are we? Okay, we got right over here. It's a shame you can't have an external view of this. I guess I'm spoiled by Battlefield, as often I'm spoiled by Battlefield. But yeah, this game continues to impress me. I always take a break from it and then when I'm, I'm sort of... Trying to keep my eyes open. You never know when there's pirates around. Right. Right, yeah, we don't want to do that. How do I get off this thing? Get off, get off. I want to get out. I want to get out. There we go. Uh, hopefully, I'll be here when we get back again. Right, so we're just quickly going up to town. Some green herb over here. There can't be enemies still here, surely. I cleared this base. I wonder what she's cooking. Scared me. Right, okay. And there's our weapon safe. Right, we need to restock. Ching, we need to sell all our crap. Quick sell, yes. And we've still got 30 slots, which is plenty. Right, let's look at our gear, because I did know that we have... Oh, hang on a minute. Hmm, I thought we had the vector. I'm confused now. No, uh, I'm kind of confused right there. That's a bit strange. I thought that we had the option of the vector now, because it showed, unless I was hugely mistaken. I'm kind of missing having an assault rifle, I've got to tell you. Hmm. Considering switching out my bow for this. Now we'll stick with it for now, just for now. We might consider changing that out later on. Now hang on a minute, let's just go and look about this thing. Uh, handbook. Weapons. 
Right, vector. Okay, I thought I would be able to use that, but I guess not. Is there anything else interesting we haven't seen? Hmm. Well, I'm fully confused, because if it's not the store, then how are we supposed to have it? But I guess we don't or something. Right, back on the boat, and off we go. Now, we've got some uh, towers to clear today. That needs to be our first sort of primary concern. So, let's get on with that. I have to change out to my sniper stealth combo. Yeah, see, I always forget in my mind, because it just seems so... There we go. It seems so unnatural that you would change out the weapon that you are not holding, because in most games you obviously... In most games you obviously... this. It's, it's, there we go. <laughs> I had to refloat my boat, can you believe that? Ugh, right, off we go. Yeah, in most games you have to uh, change out the other one. You know, the gun that you're currently holding. I like the speed of these boats, the way they kind of handle it, it's quite realistic. Right, okay, let's check up where we're going. Now we're going into unknown territory. Oh, actually, or are we? Where's, where is our next objective? Is that actually our next objective? Christ, it bloody is. We've got to go and see Dr. Whatever his name is. Oh my god, this is going to be a mission. Oh, come on then, let's go guys. At least we've got a good boat we can do it in. Gives me a chance to have a little conversation while on the way. This is going to be a conversation episode. Do do do. Can't think of anything to talk about. Oh Christ, rocks. Ah, oh, come on. Ah, uh, hate that. Um, so you know, I'm kind of interested. If you guys are interested, in two things, right? If you have this game up to this point, because I expect a lot of people would have completed this who own this game, just not me. Um, but if you've completed it up to this point, what was your kind of impression at this stage? Um, and also maybe if you're watching this through for a second time, what's your impression of it kind of up to this point? If you don't own this game the same question for you, but just obviously without you owning it. Because I've got to say, this has got to be uh, probably one of the most interesting sort of FPS um, campaign storylines that I've played through in a game. It really is. It's It's got such strong characters and a really interesting narrative. I think this is the island, and then we go to the left of this island. Yeah, I think that's what we do. Oh crap, this is Pirate's Cove, isn't it? Yeah, this is not where we want to be. Well, we are pretty close though. I've got to go around this way. Better get out of here. Yeah, but I'm, as I say, I'm just curious what people think because um, for me, I, I think this game has become really strong as it's gone along. To begin with, I, I kind of felt like I didn't really know what I was doing, I didn't really feel the objectives too much. The characters pissed me off. Um, Jason as a character irritated me a bit, but his friends more so. Now, I, I kind of like the idea that he's got irritated by his friends and he's just like, oh my god, my stupid friends don't have any time for them. It's cool that he can like change allegiances because, like I say, 
it's not something that happens that commonly in the game. Most games, people tend to be quite sort of dedicated to their friends or whatever sort of strong characters they have in that game. So yeah, it's kind of unusual in that respect. Another floating item. What's that floating up there? Can you see that on the right? Uh, maybe it's not floating. I think that's Doctor's house straight up ahead. Big, big cliff, as I remember. Yep, here we go. No bloody easy way of getting up there, though, so I'm going to have to... Right. I'm going to get up there. Um, I know that there is this cave, so I don't know if we can get in this way. We'll soon find out. Uh, maybe not. Maybe we can. Should be able to. Look, this is stupid. How can we not get in here? No, I can see it. I can see it. Hmm. Can we go in underwater or something? Look at the jellyfish. It's a manta ray. Jesus. Yeah, I wonder if there's like some secret underwater entrance. No, nope, I guess not. Oh wait, what's this? No. Okay, I'm getting freaked out. Let's get out of here. This is totally stupid. No, I could like cut my way through this tiny little vine. Anyway, right, we're gonna have to run around then. Unless I've missed something blatantly obvious, but I don't think so. Uh, okay, we're gonna have to go the long way around. You know, water in this game really freaks me out. It's just like it's just so many things feel like they want to kill you when you're in the water. Thank god we've got infinite run now, eh? Oh man, it's a mission, look at this. Well, quite. Right. Oh god, jogging up this bloody hill. Oh. I'm tired just from watching myself run up this hill. <laughs> I remember when I came through this point and I thought it was all booby trapped. We're going to bump into Lisa, no doubt. It's going to be awkward. Awkward. You're like, Lisa, hi. Uh, yeah. So, about our relationship. Not really working out. Where the hell am I supposed to meet this guy? The cave? Ugh, am I supposed to go to the cave of mysteriousness? Where the hell is the entrance? Isn't it like down here? Yep. The cave of mysteriousness. Or laziness, really. The cave of people who don't want to help me. Let's go see how Ollie's doing. Ollie.